What is going on everyone? Mike go back doing a case break recap. So today I'll be recapping one hobby case of 2022 Topps Chrome Platinum Baseball. So I broke a case, Topps Chrome Platinum, it's 2022 version. It's delayed, it was a delayed product, but it is a cool product, a ton of fun, and there's actually some value in it specifically at the price of entry getting into it. So super fun product and I will let you know how I did. So this is what the hobby boxes look like. Hobby boxes include 24 packs per box, four cards per pack. Case includes 12 boxes. And here's where the value comes in. It's a 500 card set. There's gonna be some guys in there that you kind of wonder how they get on the checklist that aren't very collectible, aren't that popular. Of course, that's going to be in every set, but there are a ton of big names. There's a ton of current day stars. There's some rookies from 2022. You got Wander Franco, Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt, Spencer Strider. They're kind of the top four. I'm sure I'm missing a few um, other solid rookies as well. Bryson Stott for the Phillies. He's a little lower on that list, but he's having a sensational season. So there are some rookies to chase. There's a ton of fan favorites, guys like... Daryl Strawberry and Bo Jackson, guys, you know, that weren't quite Hall of Famers, but are, have a lot of hobby following still. And there's a ton of Hall of Famers as well. So it is a really fun set if you're like a big baseball fan and if you appreciate baseball history, yet also enjoy today's game. Also, if you enjoy parallels, color parallels, it's awesome. You actually hit some color. Unlike products such as Topps Chrome, where you're lucky to get one or two in a box, it, it's really fun. So here is a recap of how I did out of one hobby case. They do do hobby, they do hobby light, and they do blaster boxes. Uh, these run around $110 per box. Uh, I don't have the case price in front of me here, but you know it was around $100 per box. Here is uh, the stack of refractors you get. So not really that many, about six per box. When you factor in the, the fact that it's a 500 card set, just goes to show how hard it can be to even get base refractors. So when you're single shopping, you know, refractors aren't typically that expensive, but they're pretty tough to get. So like anything, it's a better product to break than some others in terms of value wise, but you're still generally speaking better off just buying singles if you're only looking for a specific player or team. So we'll look and see some of the highlight refractors. Got Don Drysdale, Sandberg, so some collectible Hall of Famers there. Goose Gossage, Aparicio, Stephen Kwan rookie. Of course, I had the uh, Joey Votto. Got to hit Joey Votto and everything you break. So you got some guys like, this is the really weakest link on the Phillies checklist, speaking as a Phillies collector, Hans Kraus. Pitched for them in 2021, did not make the big league club in 2022, and then this year he's was pitching in AAA and then uh, was injured, so he won't make the big league club at all this year. O'Neill Cruz, kind of out of sight, out of mind a little bit, but sensational talent, um, rookie refractor of him. Mariano Rivera, Ichiro, Ernie Banks. You got Tim Anderson, who was recently in the news for the wrong reasons. Hunter Green, rookie. Johnny Bench. So as you can see, you got some solid shine there. Carl Yastrzemski, Ronald Acuna, Phil Rizzuto. It's awesome to me getting some of the Hall of Famers. Uh, being able to have that opportunity to collect some color refractors of... Guys who, you know, didn't exactly play during the color refractor days. Um, best uh, refractor in the box was the Julio Rodriguez rookie and also hit a Bo Jackson. So those are the base refractors. Uh, and in terms of color, now the one thing with this set is I'll say there is a crazy number of parallels. It's Panini-like, like probably 25 plus parallels. There's actually three different prism parallels that are exclusive to blasters and there's a couple different parallels that are exclusive to the hobby light boxes everything else should be available on here so let's take a look i think the aqua 
the aqua lava refractors numbered to 299 so got the most of those which of course makes sense uh ernie banks pretty cool looking i mean green is not generally most people's favorite juan gonzalez hal newhauser dwight gooden fergie jenkins did pretty well in these burt blylevin arias bob gibson a lot of hall of famers a lot of popular names guys like pete alonzo jaron duran and barrios and it's gonna definitely be hit and miss with the color parallels this one is actually one of my favorite new additions the yellow ray wave it's a more common one again it's gonna be tough full case you got three six nine 500 card set so it's gonna take you a lot of cases to get the guys you want but i've been able to pick off a few for the collection at pretty affordable prices online but these are numbered to 250 but i think they look great and the yellow color is kind of neutral so most teams look good with it um as opposed to the green, which matches for some and not so much for others. I even feel the same way with um, colors like orange, but Posada, Ramos, Lorenzo Kane, Tom Glavin, Rodon, this guy, I get so many parallels of him. And he's like an example of a guy who's, you know, from a reselling point of view is not strong. I mean, he left the Giants and, you know, he's not exactly becoming a, a fan favorite with the Yankees and he's been hurt, so... Cower Aranola, which of course fits my collection, Eduardo Rodriguez and Eddie Murray. So Eddie Murray by far the kind of the best in that one, but they do look cool. Alright, next we'll kind of go sort of in order here. These are the blue mini diamonds, which are numbered to 199. Blue mini diamond, Montas, Andrew Jones. Dennis Eckersley, Jorge Soler, Dansby Swanson, Matt Veerling, and Tyler Gilbert. And then we've got the Blue Twa, I believe is how you say it. The Blue Twa refractors, the uh, French design they decided to put in here. Uh, these look solid. These ones are a little dark. Some of the other colors look a little bit better, but we've got Jake McCarthy rookie, Carson Kelly. So when you get a pair of Diamondbacks in a row, you know you're kind of in trouble. Brandon Lowe, uh, Lau, Brooks Robinson. So nice Hall of Famer there. And then Lou Gehrig. So two solid ones right there. And like these things are highly collectible. They've been actually selling and moving pretty well. I've been following. Um, the new listings a lot searching some stuff for myself and uh, I, I've listed some out of some boxes I'd done earlier and you like certain players like they move pretty well because even if it's numbered to 199 you still never know what's happening with the cards a certain percentage of them aren't getting opened a certain percentage are you know going to hobby shops and being displayed in store some are going for guys who are going to sell at shows a lot of the parallels just kind of get lost over time. So only a certain percentage end up on eBay. So guys are jumping on them with so many. These are the red uh, Atomic Ice. These are pretty nice. Uh, specifically for Phillies fans, I'm liking the color of them. They are serial numbered out of 100. Diplin for the Orioles. John Smoltz, Ronald Acuna Jr., Tom Glavin, so a lot of Braves. Alex Bregman, George Foster, cool color match there, and Jacob Stallings. So not bad on the red ice. Uh, these look very similar, and they are also numbered to 100. It's the Fuchsia Ice, pink. George Brett, that's a nice one there. Fernando Tatis Jr., Earl Weaver, Corbin Burns and Josh Hader. So can't really complain about that. Uh, pair of Hall of Famers, obviously one of baseball's best, even though, you know, he's a sour note to some. Two really good Brewers players, but got those. Uh, here's some unnumbered cards, I should say. These uh, do not get a lot of respect. Unnumbered parallels just do not get the respect maybe they deserve. Um, these are only one per box, so got 12 in the case so obviously common ones you'd expect going low but sometimes you can grab the stars really cheap too because it's like unnumbered they're still not easy to get at all um but got a Quan rookie tremel garvey aguilar walsh dick allen which is awesome 
Joe Maurer, Jace, Jansen Junk, Pee Wee Reese, Trevor Story, Kyle Lewis, which is a tease when you see the Mariners. You're like, ooh, and then you're like, ah, it's Kyle Lewis. All right, and another Rodon, of course. All right, we've got the Fuchsia Trois, number to 100. Got a few of them. Adam Frazier, Juan Marichal, Whitey Ford, and Burt Blylevin, so not bad. Three uh, Hall of Famers, and then Adam Frazier feeling a little left out. Platinum Mini Diamond Refractors. Only hit three of these. These are serial number to 150, so they're numbered higher than those, but you hit less, so there is going to be some inconsistencies with some of the parallels. Uh, Nelson Cruz, Chris Bryant, and Stuart Fairchild, so not the best uh, selection there. Green Wave. Green Waves are going to be numbered to 99. Hit the Big Hurt. Frank Thomas. Connor Siebold. Royce Lewis and Alex Kirloff. Green Trois. I don't know why they have to get so fancy with all these names. Also numbered to 99, Carlton Fisk, great looking card. Bill Buckner, JT Realmuto, Bill Mazeroski, Ted Williams, and Ken Griffey Jr. So that might be the best selection of inserts uh, of parallels I got. I mean, you got Fisk. Buckner, just, you know, fan favorites. JT Romuto, obviously a really good active player. Mazeroski, and then Ted Williams and Griffey. I mean, it doesn't get a lot bigger than that. So that's pretty sweet there. Uh, Rose Gold, only one Rose Gold refractor in the entire case. Rose Gold's are serial number to 75. It was Bill Buckner. So again, Buckner is not going to be the absolute top of the list, but he is far from the bottom of the list. You're not going to complain about that one too much. Here's a rose gold uh, Ryan Mountcastle, number to 75. So only one of those. And then we have golds. So the gold twa, number to 50, is Josh Winder. Hit a lot of twins parallels. Only hit one regular gold refractor, just the true gold refractor. Brian De La Cruz, so the wrong De La Cruz, the other De La Cruz, obviously not in the product, but that's serial numbered at 50. This guy's a decent player. He plays for Miami, though, and no disrespect to Marlins fans out there, but nobody cares about the Marlins and the hobby. Like, they they just do not sell that well, so there's just a limited uh, collector's base there. Um, but De La Cruz, I mean, he's not a star, but I mean, I think he's got about 15 home runs. I see him play uh, against the Phils quite a bit. He's a solid player. All right. The gold waves again, also numbered out of 50, not, uh, not the best selection here. Got Cesar Hernandez, kind of a long time Philly, but he's, uh, kind of bounced around in recent years. Javi Baez, who is, uh, among the biggest bust in Detroit sports history to this point. Still a long way to go. Packy Naughton, who, like, I don't know much about him, but that sounds like a character name from a, you know, 90s, like, sitcom TV show. And Chaz McCormick, um, Philadelphia native, who, uh, he's from Westchester, who is not beloved in the city of brotherly love due to his performance that helped um, keep the Phillies from winning a World Series last year. Great play out in the outfield, though. Uh, Orange Wave hit one. Jackson Cower. Orange Waves are numbered to 25. Orange Trois. Also numbered to 25. Adam Frazier and Billy Williams. And then the final parallel to show off are the Cream and Black Trois. Serial numbered out of 10. Hit three of them. So Mark Kolovzari. I'm butchering that. Juan Marichal and Cody Bellinger. So Bellinger having a bounce back year. Former Dodger. Did accomplish a lot for the Dodgers. I'm sure most collectors right now would prefer him in that Cubs uniform. And then Juan Marichal. Uh, Hall of Famer. But I feel like Marichal doesn't get a ton of respect in the hobby, at least among modern uh, collectors and modern products. Autographs. Autographs did not do great, and that's 
par for the course from what I've seen. There are some big autos in there. They're just very hard to get. I got 12 autographs in the case, one per box, but I did not do particularly well. Um, so got a Lewis Frias base, Zach Thompson base, Mike Bauman, Ha Sung Kim, who's having an excellent year. Uh, this is the best autograph I hit, a Spencer Strider rookie auto. So that's a cool one right there. Refractors, Dylan Cease, Mitch Hanniger, Jim Rice. He's the only Hall of Famer I hit, and he's not the top echelon Hall of Famer you would love to hit. No disrespect to him. Obviously a really good player, but he's a guy who's pretty easy signature to acquire, so that's going to always uh, hold back pricing overall. But certainly you'd take that over those first few autographs. You got the uh, Blue Trois autograph is Mackenzie Gore. That's numbered out of 99. Mackenzie Gore has a lot of ability, so we'll see if he can put it together. TJ Friedel also to 99. And then another Friedel in the Blue Prism also to 99. And then Joey Bart from the Giants to 99. So that is what I got out of a case. So let me know down below what you think. So here's the thing, you know, a case, 12 box case is going to cost you right around $1,200. Maybe it was $1,100, something like that. The thing about this product is the base do have a value. Um, there's a lot of base that sell for two, three, four dollars um, and obviously a ton that sell for a buck a piece as well. So you can make up a bunch of money on that. And then the parallels, the refractors, the refractors are probably the toughest thing to move. Um, most of them are only like two bucks, but there are some obviously a little more. But the color parallels, there's a lot of people who put together player runs, team sets of the colors, um, or just do whatever color they like the most, whether you know they decide to do green waves because they're a little cheaper to get or um, blue mini diamonds, whatever. Uh, the color parallels do get a lot of play. So I think overall I'll do okay with it. Had some fun breaking it. Um, enjoying the product immensely and i think in the end i'll most likely come out um at least somewhat ahead uh definitely not a killer case was hoping um to hit some sort of decent red i hit zero red refractors uh, obviously no super factors no short prints there are some image variations that are really tough to get and uh, no really big autos obviously you're always hoping when you do a case maybe you'll hit like a four or five hundred dollar card that will uh alleviate some of the pain but that was not the case but like i said this product does have enough uh color enough interesting stuff in it to uh kind of help you out so just wanted to share my experience let me know what you think down below and i will talk to you next time have a great one